Well, hello there. Um, I'm going to show you how to pitch correct vocals. So here I have your vocal track. Just drag and drop into Reaper. And then in the effects bus, go to Melodyne for that track. Now, right here I just have a little spectrogram so we can see what's going on. Now what you have to do is you have to capture your um, your vocals or your audio track into Melodyne so it can process it and then it will play the uh, processed track through Melodyne. So Melodyne will hold all of your information and actually you can end up deleting this if you need and it will just play through the plugin. It records your audio to a different um, file in a different folder in like a Melodyne track folder. So it will play that copy after you capture it. So in order to capture, just hit the transfer button and then play your audio. The sun gets closer every day. The light that gave me life is burning off my face. And it's hard to see the signs when I'm staring in the devil's eyes. It's hard to think I came from this with anything else to say. Alright, now it's captured and it is processing what pitches you sang. Okay, so here we have on your note grid the pitches that you sang. Um, basically, this blob is the average center of each note, and then your note will, uh, this little rope thingy, is the exact pitch of what you sang at any given time. So, oh god, here we go. So let's look at it. The sun gets closer every day. Now, as you can tell, this is supposed to be two notes. So you grab your note separation tool and you double click on a note where it's supposed to be split. Day. Uh, and to play in the plugin, you just double click. The light that gets. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be split or not. This is... The light that gave me life is burning off my face. This should be two notes. My face, and it's hard to... And it's hard to see the... to see the signs when I'm staring staring in the devil's eyes it's hard to think I came from this with anything else anything else to say Okay, so there you go. Now you can right click and select all and grab your pitch tool and then to correct the pitch center you just double click on whatever note you have selected. If you just have one note selected and you double click it will correct the pitch center of that note. Select all and double click it will correct the pitch, cent pitch center of all notes. Now let's see how it sounds. The sun gets closer every day as you can tell, this note kind of drifts from sharp or from flat to sharp um, over time. To correct that, I select all since we'll want to do this for all of them and choose the pitch drift tool. What that will do is that will bring up, as you can tell, it will bring up the flatness at the beginning and fix the sharpness at the end of the note. And you just double click to set it to zero and double click again to set it to 100. So that will not remove any vibrato, but that will fix your pitch center, which is really quite nice. 
Um, that's how you get pitch corrected vocals without having that terrible auto tune sound. The sun gets closer every day. The light that gave me life is burning off my face. And it's hard to see the signs when I'm staring in the devil's eyes. It's hard to think I came from this with anything else to say. go. Now if you want that auto-tune sound, I'm going to select all and choose the pitch modulation tool. Uh, to get this submenu, you just hold left mouse button and you can choose. Um, this edits your vibrato amount. So say I just choose this. You can make it really wide. can double click and make it a zero. Sounds terrible when you set it to zero, but that's the popular sound these days. So let's set it all to zero and see how it sounds. The sun gets closer every day. The light that gave me life is burning off my face sounds bad. Um, so I usually just keep it at 100. 100%. Um, 100 uh, as long as the pitch drift is set to zero, it usually sounds pretty pitch corrected. Sometimes I'll set this, you can double click and set it to like 75 or something, just to get rid of really strong vibrato, but... The sun gets closer every day. I find that usually I don't need it, and if I set it to 75 or even 85, you can tell that it's been pitch cracked and it just sounds really weird. And I prefer the really natural sound, um, the really natural sound and vocal pitch. The sun gets closer every day. Actually, this note isn't quite right. Closer every day. So there you go. Or like, of course, for single notes, you can change their uh, pitch modulation, pitch drift, whatever. Every day. Just to kind of make that note sound more present instead of just being kind of a wobble in that general tonal area. The sun gets closer every day. So there you have it, and then. As I said, uh, Melodyne stores the audio information, so technically you can delete that, and it will still play. The sun gets closer every day. So, kind of weird, but whatever. Um, that is the basics. You can also change things like formant. The sun gets closer every day. The sun gets closer every day. Um, Formant you can change. You can change amplitude, so how loud it goes. Uh, you can also change timing. This is how you change timing with the timing tool. The sun gets closer every day. So this note is actually a little late, it seems. So just grab it and hold Alt to not snap to the grid. Um, Let's make it really weird. The sun gets closer every day. Not perfect, but for negligible changes. The sun good. gets closer every day. Uh, and new in to Melodyne 2 is the time handle tool and the attack speed tool. So this will actually edit. the beginning of the note as compared to the ending of the note. Or you can also choose... Oh. Wrong button. You can also choose the time handle tool, which you can create 
separate points in your audio sample and stretch it. So, let's not do any of that. Just make sure everything's set. Uh, if you actually select everything and use this attack speed tool, you can get some pretty interesting effects just by sliding it all down or something. The sun gets closer every day. Or sliding it all the way up. The sun gets closer every day. So you can get some fun stuff. Um, I think that's the basics. So there you have it. I'm going to render this and send it to you. Cheers.